Hello, welcome back to the We Are City channel for another episode of the Manchester City career mode here on FIFA 21. We're in season four and today we kick off this episode with a game against 14th place Crystal Palace in away game, which you will simulate. So this is the side we're going to go with against Crystal Palace today. Edison starts in goal. We've got Cancelo, Diaz, Laporte and Hernandez in the back four. Rodri Bissouma and De Bruyne in the midfield three. And it's Ferran Torres in the left, Phil Foden on the right and Raheem Sterling through the middle at the striker position. On the bench, we've got the Lap, Almada, Awa, Rice, Lamptey, Stones, and Schmeichel. And we pick up a 1-0 win over Crystal Palace. It's an early goal from Yus Basuma in the fourth minute. We had six shots in the game. Crystal Palace didn't have one, so it looks like a pretty stale sort of game, really. But a 1-0 win, three points away at Sellers Park is a good three points in my mind. So we currently trail by three points to Manchester United at the top of the table. When we face Newcastle today, 18th placed Newcastle. And again, another game which we will simulate in the Premier League. We should be picking up three points pretty easily here. This is I'm going to go with against Newcastle. Edison starts and goal back four of Lamptey, Stones, Diaz and Hernandez. Rice and De Bruyne in the midfield with Foden in front. Then Ferran on the left, Kaiki on the right and the lap through the middle. The likes of Sterling, Almada, Awa, Rodri on the bench, Cancelo, Laporte and Schmeichel. And it's a 3-1 home win at the Etihad. Ferran Torres in the 80th minute grabs a goal. All the other goals came early. They were first to score through Cater in the 13th minute. Declan Rice in the 22nd minute sent off. But that didn't make a difference because Kevin De Bruyne with the 30th and 35th minute double. And then give us the lead at half time before Ferran Torres finished the game in the 80th minute. And that was a 3-1 win against Newcastle. So the game play begins now and we face PSV Eindhoven away from home in the Champions League. This could really confirm us going through in the group stage I believe. Because we're better than Rangers. We definitely maybe should have beat Napoli. And I think today, a win against PSV means we'll beat them at home in the return leg and the return fixture we're going through in the Champions League, possibly even top of the group. This is the side we're going to go with against PSV today. Edison starts in goal. We've got Cancelo, Diaz, Stones and Saka in that back four. Rodri, Awa and De Bruyne in the midfield today. Maybe a bit more of a defensive midfield, similar to last season's midfield. Ferran Torres on the left. Kaiki now 90 rated on the right-hand side. And Liam Delap through the middle on the bench. We've got Sterling, Almada, Foden, Rice, Lamptey and Hernandez. So here we are in Holland to face PSV Eindhoven in this Champions League game. And it should be a good one. PSV a pretty entertaining side play, pretty attacking football. A nice style of football. I've got some really exciting young players, and well, at least they did at the start of the career mode. Whether they've been taken away from them by now is another question. So this is the PSV side that faces today. Some familiar faces in there. Gakpo. Ledesma, Iago Falke and Jaden Braff is on the bench, of course. See their owner style in the goal. They've got Philip Max at left back, Maduke and Gakpo in behind. The two strikers there, unknowns really to me. Rosario and Rigo in the middle and Pierre Gabriel X sent Etienne fullback on the right hand side. But that one, Jaden Braff, the man on the bench, is a player well known with us. We bought him from PSV, brought him through our youth team, developed him, went on low to the Naze. We thought he'd make it at the club in the end. He was sold back to these. We looked at him a few times and bringing him back to the club. We decided not to in the end. But he is going to face us today, possibly off the bench. So Manchester City versus PSV Eindhoven. And it's live in the Champions League. Here's PSV on the counter. Ball over the top. Chance of PSV. What a save by Edison. Well, the worst team in our group. We can't really afford to be losing to them. They've started really well here. Lively from the Dutch side. Crossing here, Rodri away. Well, Rangers beat these 3 or 4 0, and we beat Rangers 6 0. Oh, he's taken down Saka. Advantage played as Ferran Torres picks it up and finds De Bruyne on the edge of the box. Kevin De Bruyne, that's a really good block, but from the arm of the captain. And it will be a penalty, Manchester City. Rosario in there protesting. It's Maxo, or Max Show, maybe, however you pronounce the O. It's a clear handball, is that ball. Rifles towards the top corner. And it's Liam Delap who steps up again. He's missed one. But he scored two. So this will be number four. Liam Delap steps up. What a penalty that is from the Englishman. Steps up and scores. Decent record on the penalties then. He's going to get better and better the more he takes them. That's four taken. Three scored. Wunderstahl didn't even move the goalkeeper. Just watched it go into that side netting. Really nice penalty from the number 48, Liam Delap, who gets another goal in this campaign. And he's first in the Champions League. He finally opens his account in Europe. Rodri in there quickly. 
Really good work. Ferran Torres. Ferran. Great skill. Ferran Torres. What a goal from the Spaniard Ferran Torres. See you later. Whoever the fullback is there. I think it was Pierre Gabriel. Round him. Keeper comes out thinking he can sort of maybe narrow the angle for Ferran. No problems for Torres. Into that far corner. We'll see it here. Cuts inside brilliantly. Gets a bit lucky, I suppose. But the finish as well is really nice from Ferran. And after PSV had a pretty lively start where you thought maybe they're better than you think. We 2 0 up early on. Might even be absolutely coasting by half time here. And that is Ferran Torres. He's, what is that? His second goal in the Champions League so far this season. There's Cancelo on the run. Who is you out? Chased by Max. Cancelo. The lap. Oh, it's a good save by the goalkeeper. We're sort of down the middle a bit. Still had a lot to do, the goalkeeper. And he stood strong to it. I feel that should have been a lot better from Kevin De Bruyne. Kaiki. See you later, Max. Kaiki, great skill, the Brazilian. Max dives in on him. Then he's a foul on Kaiki. Referee says no free kick. Rodri with a wonder tackle. De Bruyne. The lap, Ferran, De Bruyne, the laps, Mr. Sitter has it, Kaiki back across the box, De Bruyne in there, cleared away, PSV, getting a bit lucky here, hanging on, Awa, deflected away, Max clears, Gakpo, De Bruyne, Kaiki's gone, and Awa's found him, Kaiki, Ferran, no, oh, Ferran Torres, got to do better there. Open net, pretty much. Managed to get it on target, controlled it, but it wasn't enough. Saka, oh, a good interception, but it's not enough. Gakpo. Gakpo from range. It's a really good save by Edison. Nice attempt, though, by Cody Gakpo, the winger. Testing Edison from that range. Cancelo blocks it, and we go to go on the counter again, referee. And he blows the half-time whistle. 2-0. Could be three or four, maybe even five here. Been all over PSV. They've pretty much hung on, haven't they? Gakpo is probably the most lively player for them going forward. One strike from range, but wasn't enough. Into the lap. Through to Ferran Torres. Ferran. Torres, great save by Unestal. Really good save by the German. Should be scoring there, really, Ferran. Stones in there with a header. Thunderous header from John Stones. 3-0 and game over there. Really good header from John Stones. He is proving why he should be starting alongside Diaz ahead of Laporte at the moment. Him and Diaz seem to have a better connection than Diaz and Laporte for whatever reason. Great cross in. And a wonderful header from John Stones. 3-0 Manchester City. Stones with a goal for the club. I think he's probably his first goal this season. Substitutions time. Almada's going to come on for De Bruyne. Sterling is going to come on for Ferran Torres. And Lamptey is going to come on for Cancelo. We'll let those substitutions be made now. Those three substitutions. Which have been made. And we'll jump to results. The game does finish 3-0. Good win in the Champions League. Next it's Premier League action. We go away to the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. To face Spurs of course. And we are now making up the gap on Manchester United. We are only one point. We trail them. And maybe a win over Spurs today, Manchester United, whichever game they play, they could drop points and we would go top of the Premier League table after 10 games. We've got a bit of a tired team, so we've had to make changes in this lineup. Edison starts and goal. We've got Cancelo, Diaz, Laporte, Hernandez in the back four, Rodri, De Bruyne, and Foden in the middle. Then it's Almada on the left, Kaiki on the right, and Raheem Sterling once again through the middle against Spurs today. Delap, Torres, Awabi, Sumer, Lamptey, and Bette and Schmeichel on the bench. Hopefully, Sterling can do the business up top. We can bring the lap on, but like we said, he has got side legs. And of course, Declan Rice is suspended after that red card in the last game. So, at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for this game against Spurs. And Spurs were one of the team's challenges for the title, weren't they? But we outdid them two seasons in a row. I don't think they're going to be back this season. It looks like Manchester United will be the side we battle with this season. Liverpool were the season before the two Spurs seasons. I mean, we've just always been the top, haven't we? And no one's ever been able to catch us. This is the Spurs side that faces today. It's Ugo Lloris, of course, in goal. Enyoma, Longley, Chris Richards and Regulon in the back four. Oliver Skip and... Emil Hoiberg in the midfield, and it's Jack Clark and Dombele and Jungminson in behind the captain, 
Harry Kane finishing his career at Spurs at some point. Sessegnon, Bergvijn, Carvajal, Sissoko, Wesley, Mattia Perrin and Bennett all on the bench for Spurs. Good attacking options to make impact substitutions. So Manchester City versus Tottenham Hotspur. Harry Kane versus the new Harry Kane and Liam Delap, but he's on the bench, so we can't have that narrative. It's Raheem Sterling up top. Almada's in there as well today. Manchester City versus Spurs. It's live in the Premier League. Good tackle from Anand. There's Almada. Foden. Back to Almada. Thiago Almada. Good save by Hugo Lloris. Really good save. Finds Cancelo. Oh, finds Kaiki nearly. Foden. Almada and Thiago Almada. I think gets maybe his first Manchester City goal. On the wing here, the Argentinian. And he smashes one home. Really good finish from the Argentinian. Into him here. Across the goalkeeper on his left foot. Such a good finish. With power. No chance for Lloris there to save that one. Almada with his first goal in the Premier League. And his first goal for Manchester City, I believe. Since his summer move. It cost only the, the club only one million euros or one million pounds plus Bernardo Silva. What a deal that was. Good defending. Good work from Kaiki there. I know he's lost it. I don't mind him losing it in that position when he's trying to take someone on. De Bruyne thinks about having a thunderbolt. What a hit that was. Hugo Lloris gets a hand on it. De Bruyne. Cancelo. Rodri. Foden. Why to Kaiki? Lays it off to the Bruyne. Oh, why did he flick it there when Almada had made that running behind? So frustrating. Hernandez. Hernandez into Raheem Sterling. What a goal that is from Manchester City. Sterling, the striker. And Sterling winning the aerial battles. But it's a perfection of a ball, isn't it, from Teo Hernandez here. See Sterling make the run, lofts it into him. And Sterling heads it past Hugo Lloris. Look at that, Rich is nowhere near him. And it's a really good goal for Manchester City. A really, really good goal. Mourinho, not happy with that one. Still in second of the season. That's a really good bit of chance creation there. Good football. 2 0 lead Spurs here. Kane. He just can't cut that out. Clark. And Yoma. All of Skip. Under pressure. Hoybieg. Kane dropping deep. This is when things start to go. Wrong. Harry Kane's offside, however. No, it's half time. Manchester City 2, Spurs 0. Really, really good performance so far. Was really impressed by that Sterling goal. Ryan Sterling, an absolute handful for defenders today. In behind. Kaiki. Kaiki! 3 0 Manchester City straight from kickoff. Ryan Sterling into Kaiki. And he gets his goal. 3 0 Manchester City. I think that's game over, personally. I might not take the risk against Spurs. Wait till it goes to four, possibly. Good work. Great ball by Sterling behind Kaiki. And he's weaker right foot. Across the goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris. He's second in the Premier League this season for the Brazilian. 3-0 against Spurs. They are not going to be challengers this season. I can tell you that right now. Hernandez. Sterling made a run. I'll make another one here, Sterling. Foden. Sterling in space. Good save by Lloris. Almada, wide to Joao Cancelo. Cancelo. Oh, could be a handball. No, Kaiki. Foden. Raheem Sterling makes it 4-0 game over. We've beaten Spurs here. We've battered Spurs. Sterling gets another. And that is game over. And Sterling really works in that striker position, doesn't it? He? he really, really does work in that striker position. Good work from Sterling. Great finish. I mean, from that sort of angle as well, to beat the goalkeeper, you have to be a quality player. And Raheem Sterling proves to be that once again. Goal number three. And as we usually do, three substitutions and then into the rest of the game. So Tariq Lamptey is going to come on for Cancelo. And Bete is going to come on for Laporte, purely because he's on a yellow card. And Bissouma for Rodri. Let's rest Torres, Delap and Awa. We'll let the substitutions make their way onto the field. And we will jump to the result 4-0 up. And the game does finish 4-0, so a clean sheet. Regulon got a yellow card in the 80th minute, but a 4-0 win in a clean sheet away at Spurs. That's a very, very good result for us. 
Up next, we have Huddersfield in the Carabao Cup. And this is another game we will simulate with a week inside. Well, there's a couple of unhappy faces in the squad, probably down to game time. So we're just going to play them. They might be tired, but obviously they want to play. So Schmeichel starts in goal. You've got Lamptey, Stones and Bette and Saka at the back. Rice and Bissouma in the midfield with Foden in front. One who's content. Almada on the right, Stern on the left, and Liam Delat through the middle on the bench. We've got Torres, Kaiki, Awa, Rodri, Cancelo, Diaz, and Edison. And we come away with a 1-0 win over Huddersfield. It took the 87th minute for Kaiki to break down this obviously very good defensive Huddersfield side. They had no shots, no chances. We were all over them. And it took the 87th minute before Kaiki broke the deadlock and gave us a win in the Carabao Cup. So our next game will be a Manchester derby against Manchester United of course they are one point ahead of us in the Premier League table but we have a chance today to catch them and jump them in that Premier League table and go top of that Premier League table if we manage to get three points today so this aside we're going to go with against Manchester United today in the derby Edison starts in goal Lamptey Stones Diaz and Hernandez in the back four Rice and Awa in the midfield with De Bruyne in front a more defensive side if you haven't told, seen so this aside, we're going to go with into Manchester United in the derby today. Edison starts in goal. A more defensive side, as you can see. Lamptey, Stones, Diaz and Hernandez in the back four. Rice, Awa and De Bruyne in a more defensive midfield. And Torres on the left, Almada on the right. And Liam Delap through the middle. On the bench, we've got Sterling, Kaiki, Foden, Rodri, Kinsella, Laporte and Kasper Schmeichel. And I'm thinking that, you know, Kinsella can come at any point. Laporte can. And Rodri for defensive support. If we need to defensively, we've got Sterling, we've got Kaiki, and we've got Phil Foden to make the difference. So here we are at the Etihad Stadium for the Manchester Derby. It's a big Manchester Derby. Two Manchester Giants going head-to-head -head for the Premier League title. It seems so far this season. United are our biggest challengers. They are top. One point clear after nine games. But after ten games, we could be going clear. And it's Bruno Fernandes, the captain for them. Kevin De Bruyne, the captain for us. What a game this could be. So this is the Manchester United side to face us today. Dean Henderson is the number one in goal. Wan-Bissaka, Militao, Luis Felipe and Carlos Neiva at the back four. Palinha and Thomas Suchek partner in the midfield with Sancho, Fernandes and Rashford in behind. Victor Oshimen, the £125 million pound man. They've got Adero, Pavard, Saul, Denea, Greenwood, Alanga and Beretta all on the bench. What a strong Manchester United side this is. They've definitely improved the side over the years, haven't they? Two sides looking at each other. We'll name the lap up top. Manchester City versus Manchester United. Manchester Derby. And it's live from the Etihad Stadium. And what a big game this is. It really is a massive one. We've not got the best of records against United on this career mode. Maybe we can change that today. Oh, shocking pass from our art. Fouls Bruno Fernandes as well. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes! What a save from Edison. And he still pulls it back for the free kick. The referee and gives our our yellow card, does it? No, it's a corner, luckily. Good territory as well for Fernandez, that free kick, if he got it. Free header. Teo, what are you doing, Teo Hernandez? Should just clear the ball. Looks like Ferran's going to have to come off. And Oshiman gets a goal, the Nigerian. On his chest, Teo. I'm spamming the clear button. He lets Oshiman come across him, take it off him and put it into the back of the net. Goal number five of the season so far for Oshiman. 1-0 down in the derby. Our on a yellow card. Hernandez looking poor. And Ferran Torres looking injured. Here's Paulinho. Great tackle by Rice. Exactly what I, what I see. Delap. Delap with the ball through. Almada on the volley. Half volley. Saved by Dean Henderson. That's a good bit of attacking though. We'll keep Ferran as long as we can. Ball in here to the lap. Whoa, Awa was running in. No one could get on the end of it. Hernandez down to Diaz. Back to Hernandez. The lap's a mile offside. It's blocked away by Edin Tower. And it's a three, free kick to Manchester United. So off comes the injured Ferran Torres. On comes Phil Foden. It's looking like Thiago Almada has an injury also. So he's going to have to come off. What is going on? We don't really look like scoring to be honest with you. Stones, oh, it's shocking pass from Stones. Fernandez over the top to Oshimen. What a save by Edison. Well, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's guide should be 2-0 up. Should be 2-0 up. They'll be disappointed if they're not. Edison finally comes out and catches a football. Pressing from Manchester United, relentless. 
But Lamptey has found Foden. And Phil Foden, what a strike. Almada again, and it's cleared away by Paulinho. And that is half-time. 1-0 down to Manchester United. And Osterman goal after a big mistake from Teo Hernandez at the back. We've had chances there. Dean Henderson's made a couple of good saves. An injury to Ferran forced him off. We need to be better. And we need at least a draw here against Manchester United to keep close to them. Otherwise, they will be going four points clear of us in the Premier League table. Stones oh, wins the ball and clatters Rashford. The yellow card for Stones, will it? No yellow card. I'm surprised. It was a really poor challenge. Timed it wrong completely. You can't see it because Edison's in the way, but I clattered Rashford there. Crossing to Pavard. Fernandez. I think it was Teo Hernandez that blocked it. Paulinho. Ball through. Where's the defence? Tariq Lamptey loses Mason Greenwood and we 2-0 down to Manchester United. Tariq Lamptey's positioning there has let him down massively. Massively let him down. We'll see it here. Greenwood gets across him. It's a good finish from Greenwood on his right foot. One goal in the Premier League and we 2-0 down to Manchester United here and I think that is game over. Well done, Teo. Here we go again. 78th minute. We need two goals. A goal here. Necessary. How are? Why to Phil Foden? Foden. Great tackle by Naver again. Another last ditch tackle from the Manchester United defence. Then it all game. So how are for Kaiki? Sterling for Almada. Crossing to Stones here. Back out to De Bruyne. The lap attacks it. Militao's away. Kaiki. Into the lap. Pavard away. De Bruyne. Rice. Foden. Oh, Militao gets a bit lucky. Greenwood. Good tackle, Diaz. Still can't get on the end of it. Tackle after tackle. We're just still going to give it back to Manchester United. Fernandes lost one in. Lamptey away. Down to Paulinho. Great block by Stones. Kaiki. Not enough. And that is full time. A 2 0 defeat in the derby. A defeat to Manchester United, which is becoming way too, you know, accepting this squad because it seems to happen all the time. But maybe this one defeat to Manchester United could finally let them run away with the Premier League title. It's only 10 games, but they're four points clear. And a perfect season from them because we're not going to have one. Would mean they lift the Premier League title. We've got to stop that, surely, haven't we? Let's hope we can do because that was a shocking performance from front to back, defence to attack, midfield was nothing, absolutely not good enough at all. Well, with the good news comes the bad news. Ferran Torres is out for three months now with a broken toe, which is a massive, massive loss in the side. But João Felix is back from his injury, so he's going to rejoin the first team training sessions. Of course, he has broken his leg. That's where he's come back from. It's going to take him a while to get back. And he's decreased from 93 rated down to 91. It's a massive shame, really, for João Felix. And for our final game of the episode... We will simulate this game against PSV Eindhoven in the Champions League. You see, we level the points in Napoli. They will beat Rangers, so we need to make sure we beat PSV today to stay level top of the group with them. So this aside, we're going to go with against PSV today. Edison starts in goal. Cancelo and Bete, Laporte and Saka at the back. Rodri Bissouma and De Bruyne in the midfield. Stern on the left, Kaiki on the right, and De Lapp through the middle. And something good to see is the usual bench. Apart from this man, Raul Felix is back, back on the bench. He's a bit unhappy or consent because he's not really been playing football. Of course, he can't be the happiest person after coming back from injury. Good to see him back on the bench and hopefully back in the starting eleven pretty soon. And we pick up a 3-2 win over PSV. They do get a double for Piore, but it's Raul Cancelo, Raheem Sterling and Kevin De Bruyne who give us the three points against PSV in the Champions League. And that is going to end today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. Please do continue to like the videos, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And we'll see you next time.